Welcome Cancer to your August bonus love reading. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Charlie Tarot and feel free to subscribe. So how we do things here if you are new is we are going to pull energies from the AF Tarot deck, do some tarot. I am going to pick a card from the Price of Love Oracles and we'll do the usual which is the hidden truth messages from your person. Okay, so this gets more in depth in your person's true feelings. And then after that, we'll go ahead and do the lovers of oracles, plus we have the messages of love. So we're gonna pull some different energies for this bonus reading and see what comes through um, for you guys. So let's go ahead and get right into it and see what is coming in for Cancer. All right, so we do have the Eight of Wands in reverse. Alignment and progress. We have the Seven of Cups here. And we have this King of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands in reverse. Ooh, and the Five of Swords energy, and the Five of Wands, wow. Okay, some challenges here. Now, just keep in mind this reading may not, sorry about that, resonate with every single one of you, so please take what resonates with you and leave rest behind all right we do have the three of cups on the bottom of the deck so we have the five of swords once again the hangman the eight of swords lots of swords energy here we go with this will of fortune five of pentacles and the ace of swords a lot happening we do have this double energy and the two of pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the three of cups and the moon and the five of cups. So fives represent change, okay? Plus we have the will of fortune. So this is big change coming in. Okay, Cancer, so we do have this ace of wands. So a passionate new beginning has went stagnant with this five of swords energy. So there could be a feeling of mental conflict okay so i do feel like enough is enough with this energy because you're no longer moving forward or wanting to communicate with this person uh, we do have the seven of cups so there could be some delays and blockages here uh, but this king of swords energy is this is the energy i feel is coming in okay is coming in for you now we do have like this three of cups energy which can be things that are happening behind the scenes maybe a third party situation um, some unity here also uh, that is yet to be revealed so it looks like somebody is wanting to come together is wanting to uh, make amends if there has been some issues which there has been a lot of challenges um, with this moon card. So again, the moon is like things that have not been revealed as of yet. This also is your intuition. So something could be nudging you here. We do have the five of swords once again. So again, challenges, conflict, and, and mental conflict with the situation. Um, now with this hangman, I feel like this went stagnant, right? So there could be a lot of waning, but I feel like your person is having some change of perspective here. They're not, I don't feel like they're ready to surrender the situation because the eight of swords is here in the challenge. So they're stuck on this, okay? They're very, very much stuck. And in the mutual energies, it's showing some change. It could be a karmic cycle. Okay, um, something that, you know, is a continuous cycle. It's very hard to get out of the cycle when this individual comes in. Now, we do have this five of pentacles energy. So, yeah, they're feeling left out in the cold. They're feeling lonely, um, possible some depression here, but having a lot of anxiety and really stuck on the situation. So, this message or this individual could be coming from this five of pentacles energy and with another energy. But their actions is like one wanting to come towards you and communicate with you honestly. Now, I do feel like this is a manipulative energy just by how you're standing. So I do feel like you view this individual as very manipulative. You already know that they're good with their words. You already know practically what they're gonna say. But somehow, 
we have this devil what you don't see coming as i feel is the moon energy and this devil is a very toxic relationship or toxicity this could be somebody who is very manipulative or you can be really bond to as in chemistry right and it looks like they're coming in with this lonely part of them that will kind of say anything and do anything to get you back here but they're coming from the shadow parts of them okay um, things I feel, yes, are going to change because something is no longer going to be stagnant as there, as there's change within the mutual energy. So something is moving. Okay. Even though you're not really putting in the effort, they're putting in the effort now. Okay. And I feel like it's because you look like you're giving up. Okay. You're giving up and that's, what's making this individual kind of come back. Um, so they could be using their words or using some manipulative tactics they used in the past, um, but you might see patterns again. But something might confuse you and the outcome as we have the two of pentacles. I do feel like this person brings a lot of sadness, um, you know, within the situation. Disappointment has disappointed you before as we have the five of cups. Um, we do have the ten of wands. So it took a lot. It takes a lot to come out of this five of cups energy, right? When, you know, um, if you guys separate or don't talk anymore, this could be that five of cups, like feeling sad, um, you know, that things are not going as expected or why does this person have to be this way? And it's like, takes a lot to get out of it. Um, but I feel like you do push through within this individual. Okay. And then, um, because it looks like there was a lot of emotions. It could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, another one here. But I do feel like you're coming, oops, sorry about that. You're coming from a very loving place, but this individual, they're coming from a manipulative place, okay? And I feel like you're seeing that. And we have your intuition here. Let's see what this person has to say to you. And then we'll get a couple more cards um, and the price of love and see what else we have. What does this person have to say to Cancer? I admire you. Whoa, do I still have a chance? Yeah, that's what they're coming in and I do love you. Okay, so it's like, do I still have a stance? I do love you. So this is what they could be um, telling you. Sorry, my battery is going low. They could be telling you all these things to try to win you back, right? Now, I am gonna pick a divine love oracle for you guys. Um, these are the newest decks here that I got, and we're gonna see what else we have coming in. All right, so we do have reunion. Two divine souls will come together in the near future, and we have, there will be an opportunity where the parties will set aside differences and collaborate. Again, so that is what's coming in. Um, but again, there is, uh, we have memories, past events and times together are fondly remembered, so def a lot of reminiscing. This is a very strong um, message coming in for someone here. Let's see, again. So we have collaboration, we have, um, there is a willingness for both parties to, uh, see, cooperate, okay? And then you have collaboration. So these two belong together um, and unify. Let's see what the bottom brings, secrets. This connection is affected by hidden factors that are unknown and unseen by the other person. But we know, right? You know, you're having a gut feeling. It's the devil energy. It's the toxicity within them. There could be something within this person that keeps blocking this connection to happen. All right, so we do have secrets coming in. I love these cards. So let's go ahead and grab a price of love. See what else we can get for you guys. patience and we have the number 25 okay so 25 can be you know the number seven um, if you add it together this could be you know the time you met was maybe 25 um, 25 could represent something in your life but we do have a patience coming in so let's see what else we have manipulation okay so we have number 15 so I feel like with this manipulation is coming from the devil energy okay so I feel like patience is like letting things unfold naturally um, and trust the universe here, okay? Because it's here to protect you no matter what. Because the will is here, even though there's there's mutual energies, but there's a divine, um, a divine protection here, regardless for cancer. Now I am going to pick a card from um, an Oracle card, and then we'll go ahead and pull the lovers of Oracles, the one with the heart. So let's see what we have here. 
<laughs> Sorry. Uncertainty. So uncertainty is what's happening in the Two of Pentacles energy. So what that's telling me is that this person could be trying its very best to apologize for everything they have done to try to get you back once again. Okay, and it brings some confusion, a lot of overwhelmed feelings here, but I feel like it all has to do with the manipulation that you're going to see right through regardless. Look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way, Cancer. All right, that's a big message for you guys. Um, and then time, you are trying too hard, give it time. So we have patience and time. So this is more of not forcing the situation to happen. Um, this is more of listening to your intuition, but like letting it unfold naturally within the situation, okay? Um, and really listening to that intuition. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here for you guys. Again, we do have the uncertainty card. We have some manipulation coming in. I said that a couple times already, but I feel like it's like a big message of where this person is coming from. It's that double energy and what you don't see coming. All right. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed your bonus reading. If you do like this message or if it helped in any way, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys for September. God bless.